Welcome back. You may be thinking to yourself, what are you guys doing standing in front of a Dodge Durango and a Chrysler Pacifica? These things have absolutely nothing in common. Well, that's where you may be wrong. Both of these vehicles are approximately 15, 16 feet long, so they've got basically the same footprint. Both of them can hold seven, even eight people in relative comfort, and that's where their similarities kind of part ways. This one, of course, is in witness protection black. This one has got racing stripes. So Dennis, tell us, how did we end up between these two cars? And what is that keyword that you were telling me about that everybody seems to be searching for these days? That keyword, Andre, is third row seating. In today's day and age, a lot of our consumers are looking for that third row seating or that extra storage space, seats that fold flat, vehicles that can fit large items such as sheets of plywood, kayaks, or more importantly, uh, the kids' strollers, and, 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 and of course, all the kids' bags. And, That's and, right. And friends. friends. And friends. Gotta bring along the friends. So at first glance, these two vehicles look like they're at opposite ends of the spectrum. And in a sense, they are, but they really do share a lot of the same DNA. So the Chrysler Pacifica is one of the only minivans left on the market, and it is a true seven passenger with an available eight passenger option. Now, the Chrysler Pacifica has boatloads of room inside, and it's loaded with a lot of safety features as well. Forward collision warning, adaptive cruise control, blind spot monitoring, 360 degree camera. There's a total of nine airbags throughout. There's a total of 13 cup holders. So again, this is the true family mover. And for somebody who may be interested in the extra towing capabilities or the legendary Hemi V8, then we would, we would recommend the Durango. The Durango does come available in all-wheel drive, and most of the models that we sell here in New England are all-wheel drive. But for now, uh, let's, let's still concentrate on the Chrysler Pacifica. Now again, the Chrysler Pacifica is a true seven-passenger vehicle that comes available with a Pentastar 3.6 V6, which generates almost 300 horsepower. That's so substantial. It, it really is. Now, a lot of my customers tell me, you know, I don't want to be that soccer mom, but the minivans of today are a lot cooler, a lot more technologically advanced. They have a lot of horsepower, and when you're in them, you don't feel like you're driving a minivan. You really feel like you're driving a high-end luxury vehicle. So the Chrysler Pacifica comes with it with front-wheel drive, with all-speed traction control. Now that all-speed traction control engages as needed when the front wheels start to slip, it transfers power left to right to, from the slipping to the non-slipping wheel. And that's a system that requires no driver input. If I take a weekly vacation or head up to New Hampshire, I throw my plate on a, on a Pacifica and load it up and, and you can really load these up. Dennis, why don't you show me how easy it is to get into this when your hands are full? Let's take a look, Andre. So these power sliding doors open either manually with the uh, pull of the handle there from the key fob or once you're inside the vehicle from either the uh, inside of the door frame here or overhead as a passenger um, or driver up front. Now these doors are safety doors and once they detect an object they automatically retract and they do so with very little pressure. So um, it's one of the only minivans that pass the pencil test which should actually retract it before cracking or breaking the pencil because you don't want little ones fingers or hands in there. Um, once that door is open, it locks into place. That way, if you're parked on a hill, it's not going to slide shut on you. Excellent. Um, on the fuel filler side, it will not allow you to open the door if the fuel filler is open. So if you're st if, if you're at the it gas makes station, makes sense. You're not going to pop up, pop out one of the uh, exactly. pop out one of the nozzles. Exactly, which has happened before. I'm sure the engineers uh, learned by mistake. Now, access to the back seat, the third row seat, is is very simple. So simply. Pull the tilt and slide lever here. That whole seat tilts and slides forward, giving you access to the back. And again, you can fit three good sized adults in the back. So here I am, six feet. Let me let me jump into this thing. Test it out. There it is, in complete creature yep. comfort. And, and there's leg room back here it, too, it, Dennis. There is plenty of leg room, Andre, and it's relatively easy to get in and out of. Yeah, that was no sweat. You can also access the back by going through the middle. And again, you can opt for an eight passenger by adding the uh, the third seat in the middle here if you need. So we've got two captain's chairs back here and a bench seat in the back. That's correct. And the Durango comes standard with the uh, a, a bench seat in the middle and two captain's chairs in the back. Right. But you can actually opt for the six passenger in the Durango with the captain's chairs in the middle. So Dennis, abracadabra, make this thing disappear for me. Check this out, Andre. Simple push of a button here, which power slides the passenger seat forward. Once that gets into place, simply pull this up. 
Now, before we stow that seat, look at how much room is actually in that storage area. And that's on both sides as well. Your so, dogs could sleep in here in perfect comfort. <laughs> they, they, they really could. You got an extra couple suitcases on each side in addition to uh, the, the storage that you have in the back. But now, that's, now that that's up, we'll pull the uh, strap, push to lock it in, and voila. Where'd the seat go? Where'd the seat go? <laughs> so imagine the seating configurations here. Uh, middle seats down, rear seats up, rear seats up, middle seats down, vice versa. Uh, and, and again, we'll take a look in the back and show you how much space there is when they're all folded down. When they're all folded down, you can actually get a twin size mattress in here, a full sheet of plywood. I've had customers that go to camping sites, fold the seats, blow up an air mattress, throw it in here, and, uh, and that's where they spend the night. You might as well, because you've got TVs built in, you can both watch your yeah. own program. 10 inch DVD screens on the back of both the driver's headrest and the passengers, they fold down flat so they, uh, they disappear inconspicuously. HDMI, USB, and headphones for mom and dad to, to not get distracted. And that's what I was talking about, whether or not it looks like a minivan on the outside, in the inside, it is made for living with. It really is, it's made for, it's made for living and it's made for those long trips, it's made for families. 115 volt uh, power outlet here, there's also one in the back and one on the, on the passenger side there as well. Then, as I can tell that the Chrysler Pacifica was engineered by gentlemen because all the doors actually open for you. They do, Andre. So either with the uh, touch of a keypad or on the key fob, uh, press it twice, the doors will open. It beeps three times, just giving you a, a warning, letting you know that it is opening. This also has the obstacle detection system when it's coming down, if there is an object in the way at any point, it will retract. Number two pencil tested tour, I'm, this, I'm sure. <laughs> this is also number two pencil tested. These seats also fold into this storage well here, either manually or with the push of a button. Look at how much space is back there. There's, there's a ton of room back there. Again, enough for a full sheet of plywood, twin size mattress, um, the list goes on and on. Dennis, why is there dirt on the floor of this brand new Pacifica? Not to worry, Andre, check this out. So not only does the Pacifica have class exclusive stow and go seating, it also has class exclusive stow and go vacuum. Simple press of a button, Vacuum turns on. Vacuum turns on and the mess is gone. Well, when you say your minivan sucks, that's now a really good thing. <laughs> it sucks quite literally. And that hose actually has an extension to extend to uh, 12 wow. feet so it can cover every square inch of the Pacifica. Um, and again, I, I know I wish I had that when my older kids were younger. Well, Dennis, now that we've quite literally gotten the dirt on the Pacifica, why don't you show me what happens when you throw third row seating at a 5.7 liter Hemi? Awesomeness happens, Andre. So again, we have the we have the Dodge Durango that comes standard with the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6. Still same puts, engine as the Pacifica. Same engine as the Pacifica, almost 300 horsepower. Very impressive engine and achieves uh, mid to high 20s for gas mileage on the highway. Uh, then we step up to the RT, the legendary Hemi. Uh, that puts out almost 400 horsepower. Then of course we have the SRT model, which generates almost 500 horsepower. Of course, we're responsibly not thinking anything but towing something, right? Of course, yeah. yeah. We're, we're not talking about burnouts no, and having no, fun. No, no, we're not forget. talking about zero to 60 times under five seconds. Uh, that had hurt our necks. That's you know, right, that's, that's we wouldn't right. want any of that. And, and my <laughs> wife doesn't let me talk about those things when I drive these, so. Good thing, good yeah. thing. Okay, so yeah, since we didn't talk about any of that, show me what we are talking let, about. Let, let's take a look. Dennis, I can almost smell the red off of this Napa leather. Either that or it's the racing stripes on the hood. This uh, is incredible. It's, it's, it's not the tires burning, uh, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, no, and, and you can see how much room is in the back of the Durango. Now, the Durango is, again, a, a family vehicle, and that's exactly what it was designed for. These seats flip and fold very easily to get access into the third row. And whether or not you have the buckets or the bench, both flip and fold the same way. One lever two levers that flips forward, giving you uh, plenty of room to en uh, exit and enter. Well, pop that, pop that back up for a second. Sure. I, I want to dive in there just to, yeah, just, check it out. just to see how easy that is. And once again, absolute comfort. And the amazing thing is I've got headroom back here. Right, and you are six? Six feet. Six feet tall, okay. You know, again, there's plenty of room in the Durango. I've comfortably sat seven adults on long trips in the Durango as well as the Pacifica. Um, and again, it's, it's not one of those vehicles that you're dying to get out of and stretch. There's plenty of room in there. 
Well, Dennis, maybe only drone pilots would appreciate that that racing stripe starts on the hood, goes all the way over the roof, and comes all the way back here. Front to back racing stripes. And while we're talking about racing, you're going to notice the racetrack LED taillights that run from one side to the other on the rear of the Durango. I, you know, I like this chicane right here. That's Just, it. Oh, wow. Everything sporty about it. Touch the pad on the back of the handle, and the power lift gate opens up. And welcome to the inside of the RT. Welcome to the inside of the Dodge Durango RT. Now, again, all Durango models are equipped, uh, uh, seating capacity, uh, as you're seeing here. You have some storage area underneath. Remarkable. And then these seats in the rear also fold down flat, giving you plenty of space in the back of the Durango. 50-50 split folding seats. So you can fold down one side or the other, and they come up just as easily as they went down. See, that was just really clever thinking on there. They did think of everything. Right, here. reach in, pull the strap. Voila. Wow, we're ready to roll. Let's go. You know what I can't believe about seeing the two faces of third row seating is they both left me with a huge smile on my face, Dennis. There's, there's magic in both of them, Andre. And with the reintroduction of the Grand Wagoneer, which is coming out in 2020. That's right. And the Grand Cherokee XL, which will be our first Grand Cherokee with a third row seat, we will have the third row market cornered. And I'd like to invite anybody and everybody who may be interested in a newer used family vehicle to come down to Elmer Auto Group and get a great deal.